What's up everybody? This is the Well Machine. Thank you guys for tuning in. Here's another video. Guys, check out the merchandise that we got for my business. I'm gonna get my um my main patch to go right here. And this is my welding logo right here. I have another like a picture of it for you guys somewhere. I have it somewhere, but we'll got to put it on these fuel lines and it's getting kind of chilly. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so many of you guys have probably been wondering, why are you gonna put a fuel tank right there in the center of your bed? It's gonna give away, take away all your space. Well, it's not gonna do that, guys, because I still got seven, two, I got five foot of bed still left that I can use, and then the welder's gonna be sitting up there in the front, the fuel tank's gonna be sitting here. Now, you guys are probably wondering, hey, Cody, um, what is this? Well, that's copper line. We're gonna use that as the gas. We're gonna be using that as the gas line for the truck because right now they got a rubber hose, three eighths rubber hose that runs all the way to the front, no return line or nothing. So the fuel system they got in this truck is messed up. So we're gonna use copper because it don't rust. It'll turn, you know, the copper old color look, but it won't rust. So it lasts long. And then in North Carolina, you really don't really have to worry about all of that. What's up everybody, it's the welding machine guys. So we're gonna make this box to go over the gas tank to cover that up. It's gonna be a, roughly about one foot tall and about as wide as the tank and about as long as the tank. And we're gonna build this all out of a uh, plate right here. So we're gonna build, measure everything, make the frame separate from here and then put it on top and then we'll go from there. Or we can build each part individually and weld it. And we're gonna have a bunch of open corner joints and stuff. So y'all stay tuned, let's get into it. First thing first, we gotta cut this. Uh, so we're gonna be using my AHP or my AHP or also known as Alpha Tig 200X. Um, sorry about the mess in the back, but we're focusing on the machine right now. Um, I got this machine about five years ago. I accidentally arced on it. Um, I don't know if it still works like it should, but we're gonna test it out. So let's get to it.
All right, y'all. So right now we're hooking up the fuel lines for the truck. Uh, we welded the we welded that in, blocked the hole off right here with some uh, some other kind of stuff, some JV weld, just to make sure everything's sealed up. I mean, like I said, I'm not a professional with TIG weld, and I don't TIG weld all the time. So I like I do practice, I like to practice sometimes. Until I get frustrated, but normally don't weld thin gauge metal, and the fit up wasn't that great on there, so had to make some uh, adjustments to everything. So yeah, I'm just letting everybody know that I am not a TIG welder. I don't do this all the time. But yeah, tighten up the lines, tighten up the hoses. Occasionally jab your finger with a screwdriver. <laughs> 